Hey you guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a slideshow in Final Cut Pro, the easiest way possible to make something professional, awesome, and to hopefully kind of give you a start where you know it will lead you to either use that software that's been sitting on your desk for a long time, like in my case, and also give you a little bit more control as you get better at it than some of the softwares out there. So um, if you're like me, you'll start with a set of photos that you wanna create in a slideshow. You probably do it in Lightroom or whatever you do it but you already have that set. Picking music is probably the second step. You know, for me, that's one of the hardest things to imagine, especially with copyrights and all that other stuff. So, but you know, I have, I have some music, I have pictures, so hopefully this will make it uh, super fast and super easy. All right, so the first thing you should start with a clean slate. It might not be a clean slate, I don't really think it matters, uh, but the first thing you do is you create a library. Now you go to new, for me personally, I'm, I'm gonna try to create a set of templates that I can use over and over again. So I'm gonna call this slideshow and basically creates this. Now, it creates this generic uh, folder here. You can also rename it, uh, whatever you want. And you wanna create a couple of what is called events. And one of them will be for music. And also option N is the same thing to create the event. And the other one could be called photos for example, all right? Doesn't have to be those things. Now, the really important thing is under the slideshow, you need to create a project. So if you right click, you can go to new project, you can go to file, new project, however you want, command N, you know, so as, as you learn the shortcuts, you're gonna make this a lot faster on yourself. And this one could be called whatever that particular slideshow you call it. That's kind of the order I'm sort of trying to figure out in my head. So, um, so I'm gonna call these Lindsay and Tommy because this is who these people are. It's for the latest wedding I'm working on and you press okay and that's it. Now you go back to the folder of photos and you go to your desktop and you get your little slideshow folder that you had ready set up. In this case is some of my faves for the getting ready uh, and here they are. And uh, if you see, they're already selected. So if I select the first image, I'm gonna press, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reselect the first image just to kind of keep them in order because if you start with selecting like a, a photo in the middle, once they get dragged to the to the timeline, they're gonna be out of order. Go to Command A, select them all, then you go to Control D. Control D highlights the time each frame is here, which is at 10 seconds, which is way too long per, per, per image. So if you press 300, that's equals to three seconds. 200 will be two seconds and so on. And then after you do that, you just press D. I'll press enter and then you press D. Uh, and then once you do that, then this rate uh, option comes up here. You can change the resolution, the rate. I just leave it standard and you press okay. And it automatically drags your files to the desktop. See? So that's, um, that's pretty easy. That pretty much you already pretty much have your 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 uh, your slideshow all set up right here. Now you can select some and change the time on those. Once again, by going to uh, Control D, or you can change the time to all of them by going to Control D, for example. So you go to two here, and it makes them all shorter. So oops, sorry. Let's see, Control D, two seconds and it makes them all shorter. So you gotta follow the rules. So um, now that's pretty much, that's your slideshow. Now, what you'd wanna do is you add the music. So you go to the music folder, same thing. You go to um, you go to the folder of music and you drag it in there and then you just take that file and you just drag it underneath your slideshow. And that's pretty much it. Now you have a slideshow with music. So now the only other thing you can do here is go to, for example, one of the frames. And here's a couple of little tips. Uh, this little thing right here allows you to open the timeline where you can make it the images bigger or smaller, like the you know in the timeline, the, the thumbnails. So that's a cool little thing. And this one here is uh, to, to open up your, your, uh, your effects. And this one here is to open up your transactions. Transitions, transactions, transitions. Um, so if you go into the first one, for example, and you go here and you select the crop option, it gives you this option here for can burns if you want to add an effect to them. Now, I don't particularly like K 
can't burn a whole lot, but a little bit could be cool. Um, now, the way this works is the green is where it starts and the uh, red is where it ends. So this basically start the image from the zoom down situation and they will open up. And if you want it the other way, you just toggle up here and it will go the other way. You start from the outside and you will go inside. I don't particularly like um, this thing too drastic. So what you can do is you can click at the end and if you hold uh, shift option, you can actually open up proportionately and I go, because for some reason it crops the image already as it is. So I just bring it up as big as the image is so I don't lose anything. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this. And I just go very, 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 very small, just like that. So the transition, uh, the effect will look just like that. Just extremely simple, nothing overly fancy. Um, now, what I also did is I actually created, once you do that, there is an option to save this. If you go into, uh, where is it that you go? I forget. Uh, save effects here. So you can save the effect preset and you can go ahead and save it. I actually made my own little Ken Burns option, which I kind of like. And so you can, I can just literally drop it on top of that image and there it is. It's dropped. And to copy it to the rest of them, you just go Command C for copy, or you go to, you know, Edit, Copy, Command C, and then you select the rest of them. Wait, I think you can select all of them personally, and then you can go to Shift Command V, which is also Paste Attributes. Shift Command V. So now this opens up. You go to, you select what you want to copy into it. In this case, the crop, and then you paste. And that's pretty much it. The only other thing that you will need to do on these images is to select them all, for example, and add a some kind of. Uh, ooh, I was trying to uh, do it within the eight minutes. Um, but uh, you can also add a transition. So I personally like a clean transition. Uh, cross dissolve is good enough. All you just gotta do is. Uh, you know, uh, double click it and it just adds it automatically to all the images you got selected. If Final Cut gives you an error, most likely you go to preferences, this will solve it for you. Um, this duration between transition is too long. I think uh, half a second is good enough, um, but it all depends. If if the image is at three seconds and I think the, tr the transition is longer than a second, then it tells you that there's not enough room in the ends to add that preset, that, that transition. So if you change this, do you make it a little smaller, you should, you should be able to do it, no problem. So that's it. And then you have your slideshow. Uh, it takes a few seconds sometimes to like process, but we have it. So here, let's, uh, let's watch. Hopefully this helped you guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, bye. morning my soul cannot sing hollow is a song from the bird's broken wing shallow is a man that rebukes everything all I know is a memory of me I see the memory of you Tired eyes tell no lies All I fail to hide Vagabonds are singing songs Time is of the essence I'm wandering on you Talking like the harvest round the corner You're rambling like the day is almost done At least you'll be prepared for hope's mourner Time is of the essence, I'm wandering on you Shepherd, hum the tune of your land's melody Dreamers seek the soul and some 
day you will see At the break of day met and heard is your plea Where I'm going's unknown for now But I know I'll get there somehow Haunted for its closing in Seven deadly sins Love of mine so far behind Time is of the essence I'm wandering home to you You're hypnotized by all your insurrection You're falling in behind the rebel coat Man has got you pinned by his deception. Time is of the essence, and wandering on you. Oh, time is of the essence, and wandering on you. I'm wandering on you.